Hey guys, welcome to our channel. It's Auntie T and Princess Laura in the house today. And Laura, say hi guys. Where are you looking? <laughs> okay guys, so welcome to our channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are new to this channel, welcome as well. And don't forget to subscribe. Isn't it, Laura? Tell him to subscribe. Subscribe, guys. Okay, sorry. Sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. Okay, guys. So, in this video, I am going to be sharing with you some tips, some tricks that I was researching and I've tried it. Oh, don't be so cheeky. I've tried them in um, relationships and I, uh, it seems to be working for me. You want to hold it? Hey, this is my water. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's jump into the video without the ado. Okay, for our first tip is never set threaten separation. So I was a big fan of this one. I'll be like, I'm leaving. You go, we're gonna be separated. I'm gonna divorce you, you're gonna divorce it. We done, like we done. You do something, I may do something, you know? And I always, I was always the first one to say like, I'm done, let's divorce, let's go, let's split up, I am so done. But then I stopped that, I like stopped that, and I was like, nigga, I'm here. I'm in this all, we are just there together. So never uh, split up. Um, you should actually make a rule like if you ever ever say um, or suggest having uh, to split up or threaten in your partner of separation, then you should make a rule in your relationship as hard as it can sound like whoever mentions separation should leave the door. Like you go, I'm here, I'm here in the house, you go. If you want to think about separation, you know where to go. But I ain't leaving no way. Oh, come on. So, that's the first one. I was very, very fond of that one. You know, I was like, I'm going to my mother's house. I'm going to my father's house. I'm like, done with you. But, the moment that stopped, I saw an, a, a change in his attitude and a change in my relationship. It like was working. Okay. Then the next one is weekend trips. Now, due to the COVID-19 that is coming to the circumstances of our situation, um, it ain't working. But before, I was never ever... Okay, when I was younger, I was wild. Oh. I was at a stage where I did almost everything that they used to do in the history of doing. And um, I got to a point when I just wanted to be at home with my kids and just... He would want to go and say, Tanya, come with me. And I would just be like, no. And then he would go and then I would be going mad and crazy. I'm like, why did you do this? Blah, 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 you know? And it was always awesome. But the minute that I accepted the fact that he's very friendly with people and he likes his friends, you know, you know, he likes his friends. And I was never ever a friendly person. I was never outspoken. I didn't really like to meet people. 
you'd always find me under the table yeah hiding in the room or when you come to the room i'm like why did you bring me people you know that kind of a thing but then i learned that that was his character that's how he that's what made him happy so then i decided you know what let me try and be friendly let me like get to know people um and see how it works out for me and apparently i'm quite a good host i'm quite funny i'm quite entertaining um and that worked for me because i changed so that's going back into the weekend but if you got a chance to go on weekends and do what you gotta do but weekends i was like there tick tick so tomorrow i used to tell him like if tomorrow somebody comes and tell me like your man was cheating and your man was doing this i'll be like nigga what you talking about i was there with my man so it cancels out less problems less everything if you do stuff together especially on weekends because you know like people work and people are more you know the next tip is spicing up in the bedroom <laughs> Spicing up in the bedroom. My mother in law, father in law, father, mother, I hear, close your ears. But the bedroom has a lot to do in breaking up homes and um, marriages. And so when you first start dating, like, you know, you'll be doing everything you need to do to keep this man there. And then when you got a man, and then you'll be like, ah, the person just starts to do like, ah, why are you touching me? <laughs> but that's part and parcel of it so you need to spice things up on that part next one interests so i believe like our interests are not um similar so having independent interests we like different things but also we like some same things so i'm not saying like different things completely or you know have something different to bring to the table like i'm more of a diy girl i like you know he's more of a business mind he wants he's ready he's like he can sell we tell him today you are so indian that you can even sell rice to a rice factory you know you can sell a Punjabi to uh, a, you know, a person that's not Muslim. He's just really outgoing and he does what he needs to do to bring his cash. So while we're sitting there in the room and you know, we're talking our stories, I'll be like, you know what, I want to do this, I want to do this. He'll be like, I want to do So sharing different interests, um, it always brings something to the table, something different every time. The next thing I think um, is having some sort of um a boundary because you know i'm not saying all relationships are going to be perfect after watching this or whatever but as a human you will get hurt as a marriage it will have its ups and downs its challenges but once you have communication like go up to the, the person and be like hey buddy let's have a sit down and talk and i feel like this and this and that once you've got that sort of communication and I want to do this i want to do that you know you always will um will 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 learn let there'll be less problems to fight about if you've got a communication uh, and next one is understanding your partner's needs like needs and also for the bed in the bedroom part but um in a relationship when you when you want to spice up things and you know the people have fantasies people um want different things some are shy to ask you some you know there's so many but if you're communicating then it's open it's open book listen buddy i want this yeah listen woman i want this i want five wives okay tiny i can give you two you know that kind of a thing okay okay i went to god that um and last but not least don't forget why you fell in love don't forget why you got married always remember the good and wait like if there's more bad run run for your life but if the good outweighs the bad 
then there's something to fight for. So just take into take that into consideration. Okay. I'm not the best person to be giving this advice, guys, because you yeah, I've come a long way. A long way. A long way. Um but that's my research because I've been researching, I'll be like, I want to fix this, I want to fix it. And I'm not lying, I'm not saying this for social media or whatever, but my marriage has never been better. A burr. We fight like cat and dog, like brother and sister, like all those things. But we don't fall asleep fighting. We go to bed, we cuddle each other, we love each other, we tell each other we love each other. Every time, every chance given. So that is the last step. Don't go to bed fighting with your partner. Make sure before someone apologizes and you come to some sort of agreement and always go to bed smiling and loving because the anger can grow. Some people think to say, okay, fine, I'm gonna cool down. I'm gonna cool down, but it does not work like that. You will fight and it will go on and on and on and you can turn ugly. So guys, that's it for the video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like if you like this video. And if you want to see more content like this, then let me know in the comment section. For now, guys, whoo, it's hot, it's banging. Let me go to my man's. My man? My man's. <laughs> my man's. And uh, watch a movie. I think I'm going to go to the shop now. I put my mask on but yeah don't forget to love each other I'm out oh. Oh.